Good morning, everyone. My name is Devesh Gautam. I'm based in Tokyo and uh, currently I'm leading the team of technical solution engineering in Microsoft for Azure for Operator Group. As a Azure for Operator, uh, we are responsible to work with telco providers and enterprises to enable the digital transformation journey. Uh, we help them to grow, to find more revenue streams and uh, work on with the next generation networks. Thank you for providing me the opportunity to uh, share my thoughts on private 5G and edge compute to enable digital transformation. So let me start with the first um, and uh, to share about what is the current stage of service provider landscape, be it telcos and enterprises. So there are lots of challenges for sure. Uh, related to you know, finding the uh, uh, strong feet in the network, strong strong feet in the market, uh, to cope up with the declining revenue, uh, cope up with the declining RQ stream, and for definitely providers need the economic um, uh, services and find out the new ways to find out the new, reven uh, new revenue streams. There are technical enhancements are happening like with 5G. This is a best opportunity for the service provider land uh, providers to find uh, uh, low latency edge compute applications, uh, signature customer experiences to find out the new ways to provide the uh, uh, B2B experience with the network slicing uh, to collaborate with the other industries like uh, IoT as well as uh, the overall uh, challenge for the service providers right now to drive the digital transformation, though now everyone understand the digital transformation is the journey. And as a Azure for operator, we would like to meet you wherever, uh, wherever you are in your digital transformation journey and we'll provide you the best of the breed solution in terms of as a uh, infra, as a software, as a uh, solution which can uh, provide you the end-to-end -end orchestrator as well as the extreme automation. So in crux, what is the need of the for the telco and private networks? They definitely need to uh, transform the network to reduce the cost per bit. As network grows, devices, number of devices increasing, the data points are high. So how you can consume the AI and analytics better efficiently to understand the behavior of the user. Scaling is the key uh, as we grow in the network segment as well as in IT segment based on the application density. You need the scale up, scale down automatically and which is the major thing and for operators and even for the private networks, enterprises, it's a, it's a need of our. Automation with the hardware and software segregation in most of the network workloads, even now, automation is the key uh, to achieve the faster go to market as well as combine the service orchestration. And with help of all this, the major challenge with the telcos nowadays is to reduce the cost of OPEX, how you can modernize your operations, how you can manage the deployments, which is in extreme edge location and in, at enterprises at core location in the public cloud. So how you are going to get single pin of layer of the operations, which can provide you the efficiency as well as uh, reduce your OPEX cost. So which brings me to the topic with modernize uh, um, operations uh, with the today ad agenda, how Edge compute is important and how it is going to be more important in the future. So as we grow from 3G to 4G to 5G and in coming future 6G in next few years, we see the number of devices are increasing as a deployment and that brings lots of data points. So the challenge for every telco providers for enterprises, how they can cope up with the scale to have more computes, more storage, and bring something positive out of it. So you have to ingest the data points, you have to run the algorithms, you have to run the matrices and get something out of it, which is very relevant to you and create a closed loop automation, closed loop servicing for the end user. 
and where you need a power of computes. Even with the data points are in heavy in a overall size, but at the same time, they are also going to keep increasing the demand of bandwidth, as well as at the same time, you need to be close to the user, close to be the enterprises, close to the customer to provide a very low latency applications. Which is bringing me the uh, need of multi-tenancy. With help of intelligent edge compute deployments, you can host multiple applications with multi-tenancy features to bring out the low cost efficiencies in your deployment and reduce the per bit cost. Now, between 2015 to 2022, every mobile devices penetration of applications increased by 17 times. It's huge. We see new edge applications with lots of capabilities. Gaming is advanced. Now penetration of triple game, triple A games increased from 20% penetration to 70%. So you need latency, you need bandwidth, you have a data points which are going to provide enhanced user experience to your uh, your B2B client or end customer. And Above and all, you have to have a service convergence across the edge to provide service-based architecture. So service convergence is the key. So edge compute, as we grow in the tech as a next gen, edge compute is going to be the necessity for future, and it's going to be the prime thing to provide a good ex user experience to the user. Which brings me to share a few interesting data points. If we see uh, the overall volume of connected devices, the increase of number of connected devices between 2017 and uh, upcoming 2023 is almost 80%. Around 72% enterprises are believing edge computing is going to be creating more business prospects and critically important and very important. 50% of enterprises generated data will be created and processed outside the data centers, private data centers or cloud by end of this year. As, as we are growing with our mobile internet users, it's going to reach by 25, it's going to be reached by 5 billion across the globe. And on the enterprise, specifically, if I share a few more data points, around 69% of enterprises will be adopting 5G by 23. 5G endpoint installed base will grow by 14x in the next three years. And around 500 billion opportunity total addressable market for 5G plus edge by 2023. And which brings me to a very interesting point. So what telcos and uh, enterprises needs to do, they need to collaborate. They need to create the opportunities with other industries. New cross industry partnerships is the need of the R. You have to provide the converged solution, which can be from the connectivity layer to, to end user applications and data science capabilities. And that will provide them more deeper down. It's going to provide more revenue streams and you can create co-sell or co with bundle solutions along with the other industries like a medical, like manufacturing, like uh, IOT and every market. So how Azure is going to helping uh, telcos and network providers in part of their journey. So we we definitely think cloud and telecommunication is the perfect fit for the next generation network. With help of hyperscalers, efficiency on the compute, storage, 
and the connectivity deployments, we can definitely help every enterprise as well as telcos to radically transform their cost. It will reduce by between 40 to 50 percent and increase the efficiency on TCO, improve visibility and insights with a very strong AI enabled data and analytics solution with Azure. You can increase your visibility and insight for the users and adopt the changes in network as well as in your user experience based on the user behavior. As a hyperscalers, we definitely provide a dynamic scale and support for any sunny day growth, any rainy day scenarios where you don't know, don't need any scale. So auto scaling features would be enabled and that will give provide you better capex efficiencies. Automation is the key, uh, as I explained with the hardware software segregation and the distributed architecture deployment of the edge compute. If you are going to provide the edge compute solution at the enterprises, at the far edge location, at the core edge location and the public edge location, you need to stitch end to end. You need to provide the orchestrator which can do the end to end automation and provide you better go to market strategy as well as less efforts and less human error chances in your deployment. And now. Clouds and Microsoft Azure, how it's going to help the telecommunication providers to modernize their operations because the current challenge and to get more efficiency on the cost as well as on the skill sets on to operate the network more intelligently. How you can do that? You have to be you have to have a single pane of glass. Operations layer which can provide you the maximum efficiency on the operations as well as. As well as less. Fault scenarios. So uh, Microsoft Azure overall is a perfect fit for the telecommunication providers to adopt next generation networks to ingest more data points to provide better modernization operators operations. So as a Azure for operators, I uh, this this is a, a very brief snapshot where we can start with interconnect with very strong partnership with around one thousand interconnect and uh, appearing connection across the globe with satellite as demand capabilities and global van. And we are bringing the complete layer of edge platforms with private Mac solution, public Mac solution, as well as the entire orchestrator piece of Azure operator distributed services. We all do. We also do support the application where we have wise and applications 5G core on the operator for the private network and we are looking forward to partner with so many radio access networks across the industries and to support all the applications industries like a gaming iot collaboration ar and vr so this is overall a snapshot of azure for operator So when I talk about the complexity to run the network, how to deploy, we are bringing Azure Operator Distributed Services, which is going to help modernize your network by running communication workloads on our AI enabled carrier grid, hybrid cloud computing platform, a future proof flexible infra that drives simplicity, scale and cost efficiencies. Azure Operator Distributed Services is built from the ground up to war run workloads with the resiliency, security, observability, and performance that operators need. By eliminating the need for operators to construct and maintain private cloud infra, the Azure Hybrid Cloud platform dramatically simplifies the provision of new network services by orchestrating and optimizing the deployment of network functions and application on enterprise premises, operator edge or the public cloud. Highly automated 
self optimizing software defined network that he'll defend and provision themselves next generation carrier grade hybrid cloud that also supports your existing hardware deployments including openstack and kubernetes so how how it is important to identify the correct edge for your network it could be based on the bandwidth requirement it could be based on latency it could be based on the specific need but it's very important how you are going to identify the correct edge for your network with the current scenario it's a definitely a need where you have to create a distributed architecture where you have to accommodate all kinds of deployment across the geographies the criteria could be the minimum latency less than 5 milliseconds you have to be at the far edge or enterprise location itself you have to be uh, for 10 to 30 milliseconds latency uh, for the real time applications like uh, medical biometric authentications you need to be at the regional location or at the far edge locations and there are applications where you have to run some background data analytics engines which can provide a dashboard and which can accommodate more than 30 milliseconds of latency you can deploy at the public edge as well as at the op operator core locations but the overall it's very important to identify your correct edge even in ran there is a need of need of edge compute you have to process the near real time data to do the closed loop optimization for the massive mimo as well as for the electrical tilt automatic automatic optimization of the direction and edge mode so the importance of edge according to your density according to your requirements application requirements it's very important which brings to microsoft to work on the private mac mission how we can help the operators to work on the private mac more effectively we have seen an accelerating interest in the wide range of use cases that provide private networks deployed on enterprise edge computing platforms the key learning is that for us to move from early market formation to mass market adoption we must simplify how these solution are procured built and managed networking has always been a complex challenge for enterprises and bringing mission critical networking like 5g only adds the complexity another key learning is that network aware application services and what drives business value for these private networks the mission is to accommodate not only 5g to accommodate the non 3gbp access like a wifi as well to bring the uh, development application development growth in industry 4.0 enterprise edge so what we are doing if you see here there are five layers of over overall stack of any private mac development start from the edge and radio and devices where we are pretty much open with every radio providers to collaborate with us to onboard in our hybrid platform private mac platform and where we can bring a very highly agile and flexible as as well at the same time very powerful edge compute infra layer along with edge network functions like a 5g core solutions private mac solutions as well as the networking solutions and to host all the edge services and applications including iot gaming everything and over and all it's going to combine as a service convergence to provide one single pane of glass cloud managed layer at every layer 
This is designed for operators and system integrators to deliver high performance Mac use cases to enterprises as well as for uh, Telco. Flexible solution for integrating edge compute, networking and applications on choice of edge platform. So I want to highlight uh, the very specific case study here uh, for the RAN, how cloud computing can improve 5G wireless network. Why deep learning for wireless capacity is very important. Now 5G is moving towards an open architecture, specifically on open RAN, with many ways to optimize a network. While this approach increase complexity, deep learning, Techniques can be used to take on these complexities, which are typically beyond human abilities to solve. In the EBO case about pre-coding for massive MIMO, we can minimize reduction in capacity through predictive analytics and modern software that adopts to dynamic network loads. 5G network can become smarter. How deep learning techniques may be used control transmission power to reduce interference and thus increase the capacity. Massive IMO is a very complex method for multiplying the capacity of radio links using multiple transmissions and deceiving antennas. To exploit multiple propagation, MIMO is an essential element of wireless communication standards, Wi-Fi, 3G, and 4G, for 5G as well. However, takes it to the next level, scaling the number of antennas massively and supporting many users simultaneously, this technology is the key to 5G, promise of 1,000 times the capacity gain over 4G and I'm 100% sure this is going to be evolved with 6G more. The science behind massive mine lies in the complex mathematics involved with manipulating signals sent and received from every antenna. So the communication channel with each user can be preserved and can survive the in environmental distortion and interferences. These complex multiple matrix multiplications, transpositions, all of which require significant computation in the real time, near real time at least, to be very precise. It is a direct function of the number of users being serviced by the cell tower and the number of antennas the cell tower has. Furthermore, this computation takes place every few energy are needed as uh, network operators increase the number of antennas. The computational requirements goes up considerably along with other associated problems. Azure is here to support telecommunication operators in, in meeting their goals for increasing capacity as the network grows and evolves, while tele telecommunication providers increase the number of antennas and cell towers Microsoft ability to spin up servers at scale and to manage them from anywhere in the world makes Azure the perfect fit for 5G and beyond the telecommunication network. And edge computing, which is going to allow the ability to scale up computing easily is perfect for this. Even if some operators don't need lots of capacity immediately, it's still vital to understand if the network is to be built in such a way that it can be easily scaled up as the demand for network capacity grows. So continuous machine learning with flexible edge computing to model the dynamic radio frequency environment and user mobility pattern is create a tremendous value proposition for the telecommunication industry not only for the purpose of increasing wireless capacity, but also to improve the total operational efficiency of 5G network.
it simplifies the ingestion of thousands of MIMO patterns. Edge compute provide distributed computing model to process pattern as closed loop solutions to take actions immediately. And at the same time, it's very secure with industry leading Azure security framework. So this brings me to the conclusion of this session where what is Azure private 5G core values? If you see here, we are working to simplify delivery of 4G, 5G network on smart footprint edge, including supporting all the RAN providers across the globe, speeding the network deployment to minutes from hours or days predominantly scale globally with unified cloud management and partner solutions and securing private wireless net network with industry leading azure security thank you so much for the time and consideration for this session